Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. Uh, let's do normal, hardcore. I haven't played this game before, so I will do normal. Create a save. Alrighty. I hope I don't get stuck because I don't have a controller. Just so you know guys, I uploaded a video of this game. All of the scenes included. I will delete that one and make this one the first video for the game. Characters are engraved in my mind, but the places I seem to forget some of them. Though I you know remember the name Blackwater very well because I <laughs> died like countless times to get into Blackwater. Those of you guys who don't know about this game, that, uh, I could not agree with you this game came way before Audio 2, and it is actually the part 2 yes, of the game. Lost their land, yeah, you heard me right. If you have played Audio 2, that's the part 1. And this RDR that came early is actually the second part if you see it chronologically because Arthur is dead and John Marston is alive and the story continues after Arthur is dead yes they lived like animals in our dear graphics you can see it's way early way years before now so you can imagine the quality of the graphics still pretty good. I don't know the exact date. I'm just imagining that maybe 10, 15, 20 years ago the game was released in PS. I hardly think so, Jenny. But I'm glad that I played RDR 2 first, and now I'm playing RDR. Mr. Johns wants to run for governor. Which is why he's so concerned he's with to... cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. Oh, the intended. His family is nothing but the hillbilly trash no, that it came to here after the war. That's me. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money. And he has a lot of friends in politics. Yeah. Mrs. I... Bush, money isn't everything. I'm fizzy. There are many I'm things foggy that money about cannot buy. It seems that money the families that we met that in Ardia too. There are so many what families. What you must right? remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. 
and the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. I waited for you like at least peace. three to four months. It, it's so confusing. Before I get got the key mapping, I find it impossible to make a distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I'm actually not a game right foot. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing, but you only have to ask me. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Yeah, we we'll get off the station, Armadillo, and then start. Okay, Sam, how's that? That's my name everywhere, I know. Nice, nice, nice. I wanted this, yes. Okay, hard to hard can also holster the weapon. Okay, if I don't do anything for like three to five seconds, the he automatically holsters the weapon. I know where I have to go. Does he have any tips like in Ardia too? Okay, before going on to the bar, I wanna check the controls a little bit. Controls are smooth. Okay, I don't know about uh, this thing that if I go too far away from the saloon, do I have to start from the beginning? came too far away from the mission I was given. Okay, let's go to the mission. Take my mission until it comes to that. Seems smooth, shall I? Oh, what the hell was that? I don't feel too good. Hello? Sorry, I pushed you, bro. Old geezer is still alive. You must be John Marsh. Sometimes. I'm Chick. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. Hey, my friends. I'm pleased to meet you. Chick. I got the horses saddled up and ready out. That fat fucking leech. Arthur had to feed him. Don't think so. Well, sir, I am really glad you My bad. I thought you was in a hurry to get to the fort. All righty, Mr. Marshall, let's get. Easy on the spurs now, we don't need to draw undue attention. Whoa, why the Whoa? I am holding the left shift. Let's go. Oh man, I have to press the left shift again and again. Are 
Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like oh, beef clams. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a oh, drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> I need to learn this. Yo, yo. Bro. Yeah. Oh, it was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big fella asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Gio. Yeah. 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 I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't look much like no black border fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high pollutant big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions, but. No, me neither. Can go faster, like tapping. Yeah. Too many times. I think the blue bar is good. Oh, the green bar is good. I think. A fella told me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? Hey, you whining him up like a cop. Damnedest thing he ever saw without the aid of liquor. He told me. Times are changing fast. Okay, he's that's for sure. Horse just went through my went through my order. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a good time. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seem to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! 
and no more you. Implore. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Wow. <laughs> Poor kid. That was pathetic. But we are going to come back here soon. this game so <clears throat> yeah you know it's not going to be that big of a game that big of a walkthrough if you can imagine well you're alive so it would seem so how do you feel I don't know the polite word for it I do stupid is the word we use around here what were you doing I was, oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. I did shit. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life on me. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Okay, so I hope to meet like every character in this game who knew Arthur so that yeah, the memories. Bonnie is on your map, I know that. Just for me. Oh, she's cute. Can I go in? Glad to see you. I'm open for treatment. I'm the other day, and he said, Well, I can't even look at you. Okay, can go on this. How much to see? Maybe in this one. Kitna bar aisa hua ki kisi ghar mein guse chimney ke andar hath gusa deta pehle hi. I want to search the chimney before I can look at any other place. Look at any other place. So that's where people used to hide the valuable stuff. Bro. Kidding me. Welcome to my shop. 
I don't have Hello. even a penny, so I can't buy anything. This is also an office kind of. Seems awfully convenient that they've installed telephones next door to the front. Is there any bounty hunting job here that I can do? I can roam around later. Okay. Uh, Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. I figured it's about traffic. time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Okay, can't go in her house right now. Sorry for that. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss <coughs> McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. <coughs> and here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Come on, boys. Come on, Mr. How am I going to show you the ranch if you keep racing off the head? That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. You see how the AI is to be waiting around. designed? <laughs> and here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. 
This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. John is still not real. So, what I do? Come on, move. Right, right. Go. follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. I can aim like this man. God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. Come on then. Time to put that blood luck of yours to good use. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. That's a nice horse. आदमियों का मौसम चल रहा है यार ओके इफ यू स्लीप यू विल वेक अप सिक्स आवर लेटर सो देर आर नो कस्टम स्लीप्स हियर General stores, doctors, and gunsmiths around the territory. Body ni bhai apna. Kaun sa bola? Container. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay, what type of outfits do I have? I have 17 outfits. Or... Oh, these are undiscovered. So I have only like two outfits. Cowboy and gentleman's attire. I think I will need gentleman's attire afterwards. Let's go talk to Bonnie. That's the only mission that is showing me here. So you can see this map is not that big. But still there are so many places here. That I want to go and check out. After this mission, there will be obstacles in our path. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson, uh, what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. No, 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 don't take my arse. Okay, she left my arse alone. We need to go to the start. Hello? Yeah! Yeah! Whoa, whoa! On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! Oh, what the fuck? Who put the checkpoints here? Yo! This is bad. I'm losing yeah. this.
What the fuck? Yeah. Best team. pay the marshal a visit in armadillo sometime i'm sure he could help you deal with that nice mr williamson yeah i might just do that miss mcfarland you do whatever you think best mr marston my bad i only got like last 20. Set the point. Let's take my horse. Is this my horse? I'm just sticking to the way path. Those are some nice horses, man. A good price. Rabbit? I thought they were coyotes. Master and then the challenge is going to Okay, Master Hunter rank 1. Skin 5 coyotes, kill 5 coyotes, skin the corpses, and collect the pills. Complete chance to unlock rewards and become a legend of the West. Okay. And kill more coyotes. Oh, I like that horse. Let's 
make this quick. <laughs> the blood splatter is on the screen. Can I say how do you with R? Show help. Slam fist. Accept even money. Double down. Skip deal. Split stand. Aim horseshoe. Wow. effect of heat You get sucked into a time hole and you go back in time. And the names of the places are the same. Shut up, you! And what you want? 
My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting keep with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. No, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. How many times yeah. he's going to spit on the floor? Oh, I haven't seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking hard. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Let's head over to the saloon. So who are we looking for? Bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Nice damn road agent. Prey on the stage is coming in and out of town. Drivers in Armadillo spend more time with their yeah, hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I do what I can, Mr. Marston. We ain't the government. Dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Walt's the top screw. Hello. Let's get after him. God damn it, he's on to us. Get after him. I think maybe leave it in Go!
Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him down while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton gang's been growing fast. How long's easy money for easy work? Jola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Let's go! Yeah, that's why I caught him in the feet. Come on, here. But I'm missing how many short miss I have. Wow, but the carbine repeater, I have to take a pistol. Hey, Marshal, what's the Say, partner. It's gonna appeal to your honor, the stats. Okay. Automatically takes everything. I don't think there is anything else here. Let's move on, right? Uh, okay, it's almost one hour. So I'm not uh, going to start any new mission right now. Save the game. Do I have to go back to this ranch or I can save anywhere? I can hitch my ride. Yeah, too. Come on. Oh, I have to go to the bed. Let's then mark the ranch. I 
hope you guys like the video. Yeah, my gameplay is a little bit sloppy. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp spell? That'd well, be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tile to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water. Build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. Come on! Super fast, 
नहीं तो मैं पहले ही कर देता ना भाई इतना देर से मैं चल के देख लेता So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. This is it for now. I'll be back with more exciting videos until then. Stay tuned and have a good day. I will also be starting a new game until dawn. So yeah. Keep watching. See you soon guys. 
Bye.